Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of Nick's Brain Dump, and I'm your host Nick Tian. And today is well, 28 March 2014. Uh, this is the first episode of the Brain Dump, and the idea is that it's just a podcast where I get to dump as much as my brain possible without, you know. Uh, putting it anywhere else, like it has nowhere else to go, so this is where it all goes, because I need some place to put it, and this podcast is basically serves as functions, it, it serves as function, and you know I might do this more regularly than any other podcast because I think I need to unload more than I need to, you know, do anything else, but we shall see. Anyways, uh, so today is the first episode. So, well, since I don't know what I'm gonna really talk about, because always the first episode when I do something, it is always awkward, always weird, and always, uh, you know, I I don't really know what I'm doing. So the first episode here, I repeating myself again, uh, is more or less just for me to talk about the problems that I faced with streaming. Or you know, doing some video game uh, videos and all that thing. It's just a mashup of everything that I've faced so far. And well, here we go. So first off, I've been always I always wanted to do you know my own video game show or my own. Uh, Something related to video games. Maybe I just play through a video game or、uh, do all those things because, you know, I always watch these videos of people doing it, and and for me it's like you know what I always wanted to do it, but I never had the equipment, never had the ability. You know, when I was younger, what I did would be I would I would take video cassettes, you know, videotape, and record myself playing the video games, but that was. And I and and I would share it with my friends, you know. I would bring the video tape to my friend's house, and I would show them. You know what? This is what I did. What I did. What I did. And then that was like PS2 era. That was、uh, about almost ten years ago. And I really wanted to do it back then. You know, even back then, I I really wanted to do it because I saw how cool it would be to see like. People playing video games, and it's like to show your friends or family members who are interested in it, and, and and get them interested in it as well. But I never knew. Well, I but but I never got a chance to actually share it out with the world. And around two thousand and six or two thousand and seven, you know, when when YouTube came about, I never I never had I never thought about. Oh, you know what? This is a good chance to do video games right now. You know. Put it up there because it wasn't easy. I didn't have a good PC. I didn't have good internet connection. So I, I I never knew how to you know get this passion going. Probably because I was also thinking more about girls and things like that. So it's like ah、oh, okay, we 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 deal with those things first before actually going back to your passion. And it's like okay fine, I'll I'll delay it for now. That kind of thing. But and now, not that not to say that I have you know plenty of time or have a girlfriend already and and I have the time to actually do any of these things. But I wanted to at least dip my feet or dip my toes into you know something like this before I actually you know find real work, that kind of thing. Or、oh, this could be real work. Who knows? But for now. You know, this is a hobby of mine, and and I and I guess it was like a meeting of、uh, not not coincidences, but、uh, events that somehow brought certain things about. So I managed to actually score a few equipment, which allowed me to do what I want to do. So, for example, I I had a SingStar microphones from before, so I managed to get some USB good. Good quality, you know. I don't think they are the best, but I got some reasonably good quality USB mics.、Uh, managed to save up from Chinese New Year my angpaos and all that thing to to get myself、uh, a 
capture card, a capture device. So it's like, you know what, you're getting... And, and I have a PC, which, you know, it's not powerful enough to do everything I want, but it's much better than just having a laptop, which is by now six, seven years old. So it's like, you know what, you have all these factors coming together and it's like, you could have done something with it. And that's what I'm doing right now, that I'm trying to, not to say catch on or capture my old dreams, but it is in a way trying to do what I could not do before. So I'm doing a podcast, I'm, I'm you know, recording game, game clips, game footage, uh, doing streaming, doing everything. Of course, I, I don't have like a lot of money to do the best quality out there, you know, the best, you know, capture, the higher streams and things like that. So, so I'm still just trying to figure out, you know, what are the things that I can do and what are the things I can't do. And of course, I'm still studying right now. So I have to balance that out with, oh, okay, you have to study for exams, you have to you know, go through all these things, and, and it, it, it's not to say, you know, it, it, the problems when they come, they're not, they're not, you know, like, oh, I, I'm, I, I feel like I can't do any of these things, but they do, like, take, take some time to figure out, because it's not exactly that well documented, like, oh, okay, you have this kind of equipment, because there are so many ways that you can actually do it that, Oh, okay. Uh, not not everything is, you know, the way that you might want it, which kind of sucks in a way because when, if you don't have money to just buy the best equipment out there, you just fall into so much issues. And right now, it's still in that exciting moment that you know I'm I'm trying to figure out oh what can I do what can I do. What am I struggling with? What is my weaknesses? What are the things that I can't do with my current setup and things like that? And and it's exciting in a, in a way, but it also forces me to to be creative in a sense that you know I have to figure out what are the ways that I can adjust my my what I want to do because like doing podcasts is super simple. You just record voice. That's all you need. You don't need a super powerful PC or things like that. And I think that should have been the first thing that I went for. You know, that, that should have been the first thing that I went for. That uh, I, I just get a podcast out, do it weekly, do it, you know, every week. And it's like, oh, you know what? That's where I, you know, branch out from. And right now I'm doing this as the last resort because everything else doesn't seem to work or have bugs and things like that which is why you know I started out this podcast because I wanted to get it off my chest and it's like you know what it's frustrating but you can't talk to anyone about well I can't talk to anyone immediate about you know all these issues that I'm having so this goes out to whoever wants to listen and you know hopefully I might get some help from it all right so I've talked about Issues, so I'm gonna move on to you know some of the issues that I faced. So for one, uh, let's say doing game footage, right? Uh, so I can record game footage, but I don't have enough hard drive space, so I am limited by the amount of hard drive space. But that I think that's fine, you know. I it's 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 acceptable that you know oh you don't have enough hard drive space to do recording you know because they are large but the issue comes when i want to uh do something like uh editing you know when i use uh, premiere pro things like that they don't always render which is frustrating to say the least because i think that takes the longest time you know, you're trying to set things up to render properly, to, to, to just, you know, you just want to record something, render it, and then post it out online. And you want to do it as fast as possible, but you can't. And they don't always, they aren't always successful. So that sucks as well. That, that, that is like, man, I, it took me 30 minutes to play the game, 20 minutes to, you know, cut it together maybe two hours to render the whole thing and it doesn't finish 
and, and that's frustrating because it's like what the last important part before the you know everything's done and you can't even get it done and he has nothing I don't know if it has anything to do with my PC or things like that but or it could be just the program but it is frustrating when you can't even you know render it out and it's like you know and you do s- other things and it's like you cut here cut there and it still doesn't come out or maybe you can't do the whole video you only can do five minutes five minutes five minutes and it's like why 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 have these arbitrary problems when the whole video is supposed to be all there all you need to do is just send it okay maybe somebody can tell me like oh you know what uh this part where the sound clips you know the the, the explosion is too loud it's clipping the, the whole video hence you know you can't export it that kind of thing okay fine i will lower the sound or something like that. but at least you tell me what is the problem but i'm not getting any feedback it's just oh it's at 100 percent. it's supposed to be done you waited two hours for it and it's not rendering it's not completing and it's like oh man okay let's let's close this shut down the pc restart the pc and do it all over again and that is to say the least the most frustrating part of doing all these things but other than that it comes when another you know issue comes when you want to post the videos on youtube because certain games like let's say the game that i'm playing right now need for speed most wanted has a lot of licensed music and that's fine you know i'm saying okay so before i say anything else it, it has to do with uh, copyright uh notices copyright copyrighted music sound effects or whatever but usually it's music that youtube will detect and say you know what this music is from somebody else you have to you have to you know attribute it to them or things like that but no even though you uh, you, you say yes this is from these people and, and it's from that 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 thing you still can't make money out of your own your own video even your even though you've edited it you're done whatever with it you still can't use it and i think that's another frustrating part about you know doing these videos and it's like man i could have uh set out this whole thing but just because of this f- minute or two of this music i can't use this video anymore i can't monetize this video anymore and that's another frustrating part that comes from it so because of these things you know i I did not want to deal with it too much because still figuring things out so i went to twitch you know to do some live streaming and it's fun because you can do commentary you can uh, set the videos up very quickly record post it up online and it's already there but of course it's not you know smooth as well because you have moments where you have moments where okay so here's my here's my twitch experience so far Uh, it's going well but of course for me being who i am i would like to have the videos at the most uh, optimal or uh, it, basically i want it to look as pretty as i can make them to be but because my pc is not as good as i want it to be i'm limited to either using the rex center at, uh, program for evermedia to stream or using open broadcaster software both have their own issues for example evermedia the rec center i can get good quality videos 720p uh, streams and they are i wouldn't say perfect but at least you know they are at 720p but i cannot do live commentary with them which is weird because i i have usb microphones so these the rec center would not pick up usb microphones they do show up they do show up don't get me wrong they do show up but the problem is that they don't pick up the sound from it so i cannot stream and i cannot do live commentary using the evermedia live portable using obs 
I can do live commentary, but for that, you know, to be able to do live commentary, I have to sacrifice resolution because for some reason, OBS uses uh, processing power to upload video, and I cannot use 720p because it just drops frames. So, but Rec Center doesn't. So it's like it's it. I can't. Combine these two streams. I can't combine these two programs. Maybe I should try XSplit or something like that. But for now, it's like these two programs. They have their pros and cons, but they have important things which neither have. So one, I can't do audio commentary. One, I can do audio commentary, but the video does not look great. I can only go up to 480p, and it's like I want to go 720p, but I can't. And it's it's kind of like ah why why can't I do both why can't a single program let me do everything that I want and, and just let me be it could be it could it, it could be my PC it could be my desktop I will you know concede to that but it's still frustrating it's still like ah man you know what it's so easy that I could have just done it this way and that way you know but I can't so it's like so I'm limited to, you know, that's why right now I, I need this, you know, brain dump is basically just to figure out what am I going to do with it. Or even better, if anyone listens to this, anyone sees this, sh you know, podcast, uh, just give me your advice on, on what I should do. Because I think I, I still think I'm struggling to find an audience. Because I'm not exactly some PewDiePie or Boogie2988 or something like that. So I'm still struggling to find an audience. I'm still struggling to find funding to, to do all these things that I want to do. So I'm limited in my choices. So right now, what I'm thinking is that I do a podcast. If you've seen something like Game Trailers, uh, Invisible Walls, you know, that's what I'm thinking about doing right now, which is basically just you know, do a podcast, record, audio first and then you know I will record uh, gameplay footage and then edit them together that takes the most time compared to direct streaming or just doing a let's play but for now I'm thinking that that is the best course of action because honestly speaking neither option that oh I have a stream but I don't have audio commentary or I have audio commentary but I have a terrible looking stream and it's like you know what both ways I don't I don't feel comfortable doing I know that you know I'm still starting out but I want to start out on a good foot you know instead of instead of just compromising you know what my what my vision is for this thing so the plan right now I think going forward for now until you know somebody gives me a good idea somebody gives me a better you know Oh, this is you could do this, you could do that. You know, some advice from somebody who knows what what to do would be good. But for now, because uh, uh, because uh, how to say, it? because nobody actually watches the show, nobody actually listens to this podcast or things like that. So, um, still floating around on my own. But hey. Let's not be dour about it. Let's not be, you know, uh, doom and gloom about it. If anyone does watch or listen to this podcast, you know, you can email me at nick.tian at gmail.com or, you know, follow me on Twitter at nicktian, N-I-C-K-T-H-I-A-N. And you can, you know, send me a message or mention and, and just say, you know what, I, I listen to your podcast or I listen to your, you know, whatever your brain dump and if you have any any like uh, opinions any clue about you know what I should do or how I should progress but I still think you know even though I don't it's not that I don't know you know any way to progress I just don't have uh, I'm still learning and of course it would be great that somebody just says you know what just do this and, and poof but even if uh, nobody just says nobody says anything, you know, I will still, you know, try on my own, you know, just get it going, things like that. So 
thanks for listening to the first episode of uh, Nick's Brain Dump. Um, yeah, I think that's that's about it. Next, hopefully, I will be back next week. Uh, right now, I'm in the midst of my midterm, so I might record earlier on and just you know post it up earlier, that kind of thing. But fingers crossed that I get to you know do this more regularly, gain an audience. You know, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, please subscribe, give it a like, or things like that, or anything you know it's how to say i'm trying to get something going and right now of course it's it's tough because nothing seems to work well not nothing seems to work things work but bits and pieces of them work separately and i'm trying to bring everything together um yeah hopefully you know if you who knows i might even get this on itunes one day but uh for now i'm just happy you know just doing this uh because it it has been my dream to be able not to fall not to say follow in the footsteps of my you know people that i've you know followed for so many years but it is a step in the right direction i hope and yeah with that i think that's all I want to say before I, you know, keep rambling and, and make this a very long video. But, you know, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching if you're watching this on YouTube. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.